we need a few breakthroughs, right? We need zero knowledge proofs to actually start showing up in stuff. Like I, I, I theoretically told the story of the ID and why, you know, you, your daughter doesn't need to show her address to the, bou the bouncer, but like we need that shit to start happening. Yeah. Um, the, the, the CEO of Microsoft talked about, you know, blockchain and crypto needs its chat GPT. Yeah, I saw that and, and he's right. Yeah. I thought it was NFTs last year and, and I still am a big believer in NFTs. We just invested more money in, in, in a project called Candy. Um, and I do think NFTs are going to play a big part of it. Hello and welcome to Crypto IQ. In today's video, Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz discusses the recent progress in crypto adoption and how important it is for the industry moving forward. And we'll get there. It's just for every guy running a business, God, I'd like to think we get there in the next two to three years where I'm, you know, going to be gurgling uh, from underwater. <laughs> right. And weirdly, and I've told my staff this, you have to believe not that Bitcoin is going 100,000 or 200,000, but it is going to be higher than 20 in two years time. Or this is too painful a place to work, not Galaxy, the industry. Right. So we do need adoption. We do need those communities to grow, people to believe, because that's what funds the technology growth. But I just invested forty five million dollars in a Israeli security company uh, called GK8, which we think is world class. That's going to help us be a, a, you know, a SaaS player, in essence, providing, you know, solutions to people for their their, you know, personal custody or their company custody. Um we invested a hundred million dollars in, in a mining facility in Texas. And so infrastructure we're leaning into, uh, we did other loans. We invested money into candy, which is a big NFT platform. And so I spent, you know, a decent chunk of change in December. I being, you know, we a galaxy. Yeah. Um, and that wasn't without a lot of thought, right? Like the simple hedge fund solution would have been fire everybody. Bunker down, hold, you know, liquefy your assets and trade your way out of until until the bull market starts. Right. And of course, that goes through your head. The can we build an organization that we're proud of that sits in the center are part of the center of institutional participation in this? And is it going to be worth a lot if we do it? Like we chose the harder path. Um, and so and we're we're betting with our money. Think about the two. Big Canadian pension funds, two of the four big Canadian pension funds, made big investments into crypto in 2021. 400 or 300 million into Celsius and 400 million into FTX. Both zeros within six months of making the investment. And so you got to be pretty stinking brave to be a Canadian pension fund guy to say, hey, I'm next. <laughs> and so it's just going to, I mean, it's so unfreaking fortunate that, you know, people got caught up in the, the frenzy and the fraudulence and because you don't know how many times me and my team have made presentations to Canadian pension funds and been there. This is starting in 2014. Dan Moore, was going up there, I think in 13. Uh, and to kind of get them all engaged because always their employees were engaged. And then to have black eye, black eye, uh, you know, it's going to take a lot of courage for the next guy to make an investment. Like if I was a field general, I would be doing, you know, the, the Braveheart speech to all the retail guys out there. Crypto needs the retail participants to come back to these communities, to buy in, to believe, to 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 to, to drive price because that's what's going to get institutions back engaged. Institutions intellectually understand this business. They had blockchain versus Bitcoin versus Ethereum. They've done all their homework. They're gun shy. It is going to take energy. Price. Energy is price. And so why, you know, there was this announcement today that the DOJ was good. And I was like, <laughs> everyone's like, it's Binance. It's Binance. Like, Please don't have it be Binance. Please don't. Like, like, listen, we need to cheer for Binance. Uh, like we do, you know, they are 60% of the liquidity or 40, you know, some giant percentage of the liquidity. CZ has been 
always very focused on customer service. And so he's got a very loyal, giant retail following that believe in our ecosystem. Like, we need those guys. Uh, and it drives me crazy how many people on Twitter and, and other media, you know, just want to smash people down and are, 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 would, would be nothing happier than if CZ, you know, s stepped on a banana peel and, and slipped on his ass. Um, it, it's the wrong thinking. We need CC to succeed, right? In fact, we need Galaxy, Galaxy to succeed. I think the Republicans, uh, McHenry, who's, who's running a, the, the, ba the uh, banking committee now, um, Tom Emmer is a great fan of crypto, who's the, minor, uh, the, the majority whip uh, from Minnesota. I think they are pro-crypto and they're going to take Gensler across the coals uh, for his performance at the SEC and it's going to be pretty political. I think, unfortunately, the Democrats, who were all becoming crypto people, like they were like, it was going to be bipartisan, now feel like, oh, I got to back away because they got Sam Bankman freed stink over all of them. I, I actually read that Sam gave money to like 70% of all congressmen. I know. And so that part of it, I think, is going to make it harder for, for Dems to be like, oh, yeah, crypto's great. Uh, listen, they, they were both very, very close with Sam. Uh, and again, you know, a lot of people were, and a lot of people got snookered. Uh, but Sam was was negotiating to pretty much have dominance of a cash exchange that the CFTC regulates. Uh, and, you know, the SEC was going to bless that as long as they got to do, you know, non-Bitcoin and Ether. And, and so there was this, negotiation going on that was this close to getting done. And so I think they're both just trying to stay as far away from it as possible and to be as tough as they can right now. But somebody's got to do something proactive because the space is on hold really until somebody makes a decision of how to it, do this. It might take the next administration. Do you agree with Mike's take on regulation in the crypto space? Could we see it in 2023? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.